If you want to learn today how to deploy your Node.js application with FreeSSL, with auto-scaling and with auto-deployment without launching a new server, installing a different package and setting Nginx and all of that, you are in the right place. Today I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step tutorial about AWS AppRunner, amazing tool that helps you to build and run production web application at scale. Stay tuned, we're about to start and feel free to follow for more amazing tutorials. Welcome back guys and thank you for keep watching. So one of my popular YouTube tutorials is about how to do full deployment for your Node.js application on AWS with FreeSSL and with configuration of Nginx and HTTPS server, everything you need. It's also uh, published on my GitHub repository. You have a complete legit full installation with everything you need in order to set up your own Node.js application with HTTPS and FreeSSL. And today I'm going to show you a quicker and faster way, very simple, only with few clicks, without programming, without setting up a lot of uh, infrastructure stuff. Everything very simple and as you can see right now, I have a very simple Node.js Express uh, application that's listening to port 3000 and getting is uh, information from HTML file. This is the repository, this is the HTML file. And very soon we're gonna start and deploy this amazing uh, Node.js server in AppRunner, AWS AppRunner. You're gonna be amazed. So let's create our first app in AWS AppRunner. So what is AWS AppRunner if you're asking yourself? AWS AppRunner is a way to build and run production web application at scale without setting up all the configuration, without launching a new database, uh, sorry, a new server, without setting up a load balancer and auto-scaling, everything is done for you. You're just connecting your source, it can be a Docker image or it can be a GitHub repository, and that's it, you are launching your Node.js server with SSL, with auto-scaling configuration, everything you need, you can also connect your domain. Very, very simple. And we're gonna start now, we're gonna create a new app runner service. Okay, so let's go. Let's click the orange button. So after we click the orange button, we got the wizard of creating a runner uh, service. Here we can choose the repository type. It can be a container registry or it can be a source code repository. In our today example, we're gonna use the, the source code repository and we're gonna use GitHub. So here you can provide, the provider can be a Bitbucket or GitHub, I'm going to use GitHub. I already have a GitHub connection, but this is what you need to do if it's your first time, just clicking on the uh, add new. Here you choose your container, uh, sorry, connection name, and then you creating basically a GitHub app. I already have a GitHub app with AWS. You just need to click the install another or add new GitHub app, and that's it. It will give permission and you're going to have a GitHub app application together with AWS connection. Very simple. So this is the first step of you connect your GitHub uh, repository. Once you're doing that, you basically need now to choose the repository that you wanna use and then the branch. So I'm gonna use the Node.js uh, SSL server and I'm gonna use a, sp a specific branch, AppRunner, AWS AppRunner branch. It's the same, only the HTML file is different. Basically it's a very simple, a Node.js Express JS app. That's it. So uh, with a source uh, directory, we don't need to play or choose. We can keep it up as it is. Repository and branch. So now you have the option for choosing deployment setting. It can be manual that you run running the deployment by yourself every commit, or you can choose automatic as I'm doing. Every time I'm gonna do push commit, it will deploy the new change to the app runner service so once we're doing that here we can choose the build setup the configuration we're gonna use node.js but you also have php you have uh, python and everything and here we need to define the build command and also the run command so this is my build command as you know npm install and the run command it's node app.js that's it guys this is only the command that you need to enter you don't need to do it by yourself in the server in ssh very very ridiculous this is how the, you can do it very fast so i'm adding npm install i'm adding node.js and i'm choosing the port 3000 as i review a few minutes ago next we're gonna 
name our service, I'm gonna name it as, as Node.js server uh, with SSL, but you can choose whatever name you want, okay, just for the demo itself. And here you can choose your virtual uh, CPU. You can, you can choose between 0.25 up to four virtual CPU for per service and virtual memory. It also depends on how many CPU core you dedicated. So if you choose one, you have two, you have up to four gigabyte. If you choose half, like me, you have up to one gigabyte. Here you can also add environment variable. For me or for us, it's not relevant for this tutorial. Next, this is where it's coming, the advantage of App Runner. You can, uh, it's already defined uh, auto scaling with load balancer and everything in the background. It's do it by itself. You don't need to do anything. You can choose your own configuration or use the default one. So it's mean that if you're gonna have more than 100 requests concurrently, like in, in, sing, in the same time, then it will start to launch another service. Okay, this is the auto scaling and also up and also auto scaling down. This is one of the features that I love with App Runner that is so simple to define auto scaling compared to the old method where you can go last and it can take you a bunch of time. So next you're defining the health check. It's very, very important. This is how the load balancer work in order to define if your service is okay or not. Choose the protocol HTTP. And here with the timeout in interval, you can play with it. I'm just gonna minimize it a little bit. So my build up of the service and also the health check will be a little bit faster, but you can leave it as it is. You don't have to play or touch with it. The default setting is also good. Okay, next is security. This is where you define permission. You can also choose your own AWS KMS key and you can also active a web application firewall. As you can see, it's very simple. You don't need to go to a different uh, AWS uh, console. Everything is set up in one location. Next one is network. You can set it up as a public endpoint or private endpoint. For this example, I'm gonna choose public endpoint and public access because I want it to be available for everyone. And the last thing is observability. Uh, you can set up tracking with AWS X-Ray. We don't need it. And we're gonna click Next, so let's review everything. So everything is okay. It seems like we choose the right configuration. And now what we need to do is just press create and deploy. And that's it. AWS App Runner will do everything for us. It will pull the repository uh, clone. It will create and build the image that you need to do. And eventually it will deploy that. So let's review the AWS App Runner uh, service. So when you click and go inside, you can see the source that is attached. You have the uh, default domain also. It's already with HTTPS. And this is the log that you can see uh, what's going on with the deployment process. You can press uh, refresh. You can watch it in CloudWatch. Very intuitive. Next, you can press on activity and you can see all the activity that our service, uh, App Runner service went through. At the moment, uh, we don't have an activity except the creation one. And next is the monitoring. Now it's also because we are building and deploying the Node.js server. We don't have any metrics or monitoring to view. Observability, we didn't activate it. And also here we can, after uh, we deploy and we didn't like the setting, we can change the configuration. And this is where we're setting up a custom domain. If you want me to show you also how to do that, comment in the YouTube uh, comment section and I will show you how to do that too. So let's review the log. It seems like uh, it's starting a source code build. It's, it's pull everything in need from my uh, GitHub repository and it's still in progress. This process, this build, this is one of the disadvantage. It's take like five minutes, but in the video I edit it so it will be faster. This is like uh, one of the disadvantage that I didn't like, but it's nothing compared to all the advantage that AWS App Runner are giving you. So now we successfully deployed the Node.js uh, SSL free server. Let's go and review it and bam, guys, bam, that's it. We don't need to set up and configure and launch EC2 instance and install and Nginx and blah, 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 and free SSL setting and servbot and all of that. Look how beautiful it is, how simple it is. It's took the repository, my GitHub, deploy it, and look what a beautiful Node.js app we have in the air running so simple, so fast, 
with automatic deployment. Let's review again all the uh, activity, the metrics. It still will take time for the metrics to show up with the legit number because we just finished the deployment. But here, this is where you can monitor your app and see all the HTTP um, status code, the request count and everything. And as I said, you can also define your custom domain if you're from Route 53 or non-admin. Very simple to set uh, your own custom domain. So now let's go and just re check how the auto deployment work and do a demo of that. I'm going to go back to the repository and I'm going to choose the branch. It's for some reason shift to a different branch. This is the correct branch, the app AWS app runner. And now I'm going to take the HTML and basically we'll edit that, modify that to do a simple uh, change. I'm going to change, I think, the title of our Node.js uh, HTML file. Let's do scale up SAS title. And the reason that I'm basically showing you that is to show you how the automatic deployment of AWS App Runner work, working so smoothly that you don't need to do anything and you don't need to configure anything. Everything is configured for you. So once we did the commit, as you can see, the status change. So it's now deploying again the new change from our GitHub repository. And if we're going to go inside the App Runner service, we can see that it's starting a new deployment. And again, it will take a few minutes, but in this video, because I have the ability to edit everything, I cut this long time that you need to wait, and you can see it very, very fast. So you see the event that it starts uh, the second deployment, and this is where you can watch the log of this specific event if you want. Okay, in a in few more seconds, the deployment will uh, complete, and we're going to go back to our uh, the status that is available. Okay, and remember the change that we did is changing the title of our Node.js uh, server uh, website, changing the HTML title. Okay, one more refresh. Let's shift it faster. That's it guys, successfully deployed the Node.js SSL uh, free server. And as you can see, the status changed to running. And now let's check the title of our Node.js app. Refresh. And bam! Automatic deployment with AWS App Runner. You didn't have to configure anything or create GitHub action. Nothing, guys. So simple, so sexy. I loved it. Okay, let's, let's now review the AWS App Runner pricing. This is the one disadvantage. Because everything is combined for you, you don't need to do anything, there is a price to that, you know how it's life. If you want something and if you are lazy, sometimes you need to pay. So this is the compute the cost, this is how it's worked for every one V CPU that you are using. You're paying a $0.064 an hour. Only if your app is unused, like there is request. The second one is memory. This is always will be a charge. It's $0.007 per hour. And also remember we did the automatic deployment. So it costs $1 per application per month. Trust me, it's worth it. And also the build itself, when it's taking time, it also takes $0.005 per month. Um, per, sorry, per uh, minute. Uh, so let's see basically what does it mean all of those uh, costs. Let's take like three uh, different situation of a uh, pricing example. So if you are developing uh, or doing test uh, app, it will cost you around five dollar a month. Very simple. If you're gonna use a light world latency sensitive API, twenty five dollar, and the high volume will be somehow around one hundred two dollar per month. And you can also have the option to do pause to your service so you're not gonna get a uh, charge. That's it guys, if you wanna change the configuration, you can press edit, you can change the auto scaling, you can change the health status, uh, you can change the security, very simple. In the console, you don't need to configure 10 other AWS services, everything is wrapped up in one amazing AWS app runner.
Once you're doing the change, you can save it and it will reconfigure everything and it's deployed again. And basically, this is the tutorial about AWS AppRunner and how sexy this tool. Next, I'm going to show you Amazon Q. Amazon Q, it's amazing. Um, chat GPT like service, but 10 times better because you can combine like around 30 or 40 different um, database or services as your resource and it can uh, use uh, different models that you have from AWS Bedrock, not only one model, but different uh, models in AWS Bedrock. You can go and review the YouTube that I did. I'm going to do a tutorial about it next time, so subscribe in order to get notification. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching and follow to the rest of the video. Please like, subscribe and leave comment below and keep following because I'm going to release more and more amazing videos about AI, about AWS, about DevOps, about a lot of interesting stuff. Thank you so much.